the final 10 minutes of the best show. We're in the home stretch. Can you feel it? I'm gonna take it home. I'm taking it home. Magic time. Final 10 minutes. This is when the magic is made. You ever watch that movie Step Brothers? You ever see that movie, Mike? Do you like it? Yeah. It had its moments. I think it's great. <clears throat> I think it's a uh, it's a masterpiece. You can have all your art movies. All your art movies. You tell me. That's the weirdest movie. That's the weirdest thing to be a mainstream movie. I mean, it just is, it's like an anti-movie in spots. Where it's just so un... So un... un it's like, look, of course it's not realistic, but it's not even like real at a point. But there's a point in that movie, and we've talked about things like this before. At the end of the movie, Will Ferrell does this song. I forget, what is that, an Andrea Bocelli song? He does this song. I get totally choked up. Because he starts singing this song. And like through the power, through the the power of his voice, he's uniting everybody, everybody, and I legitimately, it legitimately affects me when he's doing that song. Like I will actually, I could tear up at that moment. It's one of those weird things, just out of nowhere, just get you. It's like in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I've said that one before. When he when he runs out of the the pet shop holding the snakes, the pet shop that's on fire. Even though he hates snakes, he rushes into the pet store and saves them. That could make me cry. That moment. Everybody has things like that, right? Final five minutes. Final five, guys. 201, 209, 9368. Maybe that's what the best show's like. Sure, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. People think it's garbage. Pay attention to other things. It's junk. Then suddenly, you turn around. And you realize that it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> the reason I'm saying beauty is I'm listening to this Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, uh, the Anthony Kiedis book on tape now it's 13 CDs long and all he does is he keeps talking about the beauty of their music like the beauty of the Red Hot and he's not even saying like when they did that song that song where he's like 
that he can't sing, the one where he's like, sometimes I feel like I don't need a... Like, like that song that when he did it on Saturday Night Live, he could barely track the melody of his own, the song he wrote. No, I'm talking, but he's talking about like early Red Hot Chili Peppers. You know, true men don't kill coyotes. I gotta see if this is on. If this, please let this be on. Once again, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Right. That was Roseanne and Tom Arnold. FMU, you're on the air. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi, this is Harry from Milburn calling. What's up, Harry? Um, I just wanted to get in one for the topic coming in under the wire. What do you got? Real fast. Um, well, I, can we stop? Is that the phrasing you were using? Sure. Well, like, get it together or something yeah. like that. Um, you, you know, get it together uh, with bacon. So can we stop pretending it, it's so good and everything's better? Yes. Bacon it, Sundays and all that stuff. Right? Have you ever ordered bacon from a diner? It's like the worst thing you've ever had. I mean, it's just a plate full of grease. I've, I've, the majority of times I've ordered bacon anywhere, it's been terrible. Yeah. I don't know why people Thanks. are deluding them. I hear you, them. buddy. I hear you. Thanks. Happy Fourth. Same to you. Oh. This is your song. You wrote, you wrote this, dude. It's like karaoke. It's like shirtless karaoke. FMU, you're on the air. Uh, hello? Hi, yes. This is Ryan from Orange County, California. What's up, Ryan? Uh, I just want to remind you that you cried in Rocky Balboa. Or you said that before? Yes, I did. It was a very bad stretch for me. I think I was having a nervous breakdown. Do you remember what part you cried at specifically? Like a fair I think a, a few things triggered me in it. Okay. Oh, are you judging me? No, I just wanted to know. Cause well, is there, there anything that affected you like that? Any other things that affected you? Um, good question. No, I guess not, tough guy. You ho. Hear him sing this part. <laughs> this is the actual. This is the band who recorded this song. They should have been. They should have been thrown in music industry jail. Like Millie Vanilli get in trouble for things. These guys are. At least Millie Vanilli had the, the, the decency to have two other dudes fake sing it. <laughs> FMU, you're on the air. Hi, this is Jason in Portland, Oregon. What's up, Jason? Uh, I was just thinking about Anthony Kiedis' um, assertion that the Chili Peppers were beautiful. Thinking that probably his 
experience of being inside the peppers that he's talking about. No, of course it would be beautiful for him because he's as talentless as the day is long <laughs> and they're making a ton of money. That's a pretty yeah. beautiful place to be. Yeah, it's a lovely place. It's yeah. also one of those things that's like, they, like you've talked about before about like sticking around long enough. Yeah, oh, no. doing it. Yeah, no, they, they, just, they just didn't leave and now suddenly yeah. they're like legends. Yeah, legends. Rock yeah. and Roll Hall yeah. of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Look, if those guys, are, they, they are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? Uh, I'm just assuming. Yeah, yeah they just know. went in. But look, look, I think KISS is one of the most pathetic groups ever. Absolutely. But they should be in uh, if those guys are in. Oh, are you kidding? They wrote, you know, what's that one song? Ladies in Waiting. Yeah, exactly. Room Service. <laughs> Room Service, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Best show is over. Thank goodness. So I, I was listening to this Anthony Kiedis uh, a book on tape, uh, uh, audio thing. CDs. They were CDs. There were 13 of them. And it's a, a scar tissue, his, his uh, autobiography. And, it, you know, when you listen to these things and they're, they're uh, these extended audio, uh, 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 you know, it's like you it's like it's like it's like you keep going back to it when you when you just stick with it and you keep going back to it it's like you end up stuck in the guy's head for a week i felt like i was inside anthony kiedis's head cuz every one of his thoughts he's saying out loud he's not reading the book i wish he read it then it would be uh if he read this, this would be at uh, uh, "Kid Stays in the Picture" levels of uh, of of uh, uh, unbelievableness. Basically, he talks about his, his drug abuse, and it's horrible. The stuff this guy's going through: shooting coke, heroin, everything. This guy's doing everything. And after a while, he's like, he like shakes it, and he's like, yeah. Then I decided to go downtown and get what's like, you're, and you're just like, no, will you stop? Oh, it's so monotonous after a while. Here in the sky. Then I decided to get high again. I hold up in a hotel for for uh, for a week. And then he reads, like, his lyrics in it, or this guy reading it does. It's just like, I don't think these things should be read out loud like that. There's one part in I wish, if anybody out there has the page in the book when, when they're recording their first album, and, uh, and they're recording their first album, and they're sitting down, And then they see Andy Gill, who was in Gang of Four, is producing it. And they check out. They uh, Anthony Kiedis uh, takes a glimpse at his uh, notebook, and he sees um, he's got different song titles written down with notes next to them. And he sees next to Anthony Kiedis one of the songs he's most proud of, the song "Police Helicopter," which sounds like one, literally one of the dumbest. Songs. I gotta find the lyrics to Police Helicopter and read that. Read those. But he sees next to the next to the words Police Helicopter, he just sees one word written and it starts with the letter S. And it's got three other letters. <laughs> and and it is I laughed for fifteen minutes when he went into his defense. I can't believe it. Police helicopter, one of our most important songs and this band they talk about everything's love like I ever saw a band more like uh, you know like Jimi Hendrix it's like all that spiritual like you know the all the stuff he was inside of it's like yeah he was making good music though when he was doing that like these guys are like there's a thunderstorm outside. Let's uh, 
let's channel that energy into tonight's show. Let's form like a, a beautiful like energy bubble over the thing and just like because we're just building art tonight and we're bu- we're just we're just exchanging beauty with the audience. It's like, whew. I don't know. I don't know if that music. I don't know, have they heard their own music? It's, it's 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 like again. If you like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I don't want to disabuse you of that. Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I don't get. Maybe I don't understand the appeal of uh, of, uh, of some of those songs. Can't stop. That one. Not bad. Give it away, yeah. But it, it's, it's like these red hot chili. It's like everything's always like the beauty. It's like we're just exchanging. Like we're we're building a thing as we're making art, and it's just this human expression of just of just wonder and amazement and beauty. And it's like it's a red hot chili pet. It's a it's a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. Maybe he's right, though. Maybe I got to start doing... Maybe this show... Is this show... Maybe I got to look at this show this way. We're just building beauty here. Right? Maybe this is beautiful, the best show. Maybe, the, maybe that's what the slogan for 2012 should be. Best show is beautiful. Right? What do you think of that? The picture of a flower on it. Like, this guy... This guy also does this one thing where he's always like, uh, this happens probably about 35 times over the course of this thing where he's just like, he does something horrible either because he's, he's like on, he's high or he's just, he's like young and rambunctious. Like there's always a reason why everything he did, you know, like, and then like the person who's paying the price for what he's doing, like flips out. And then he's always like, calm down. Like, that's a great attitude. Who doesn't love that attitude? Oh, you're the one doing bad things. Don't tell me how I'm supposed to react to the bad. Cool, cool out. All I'm do- like, I was hooking up with this uh, girl, and then we went back. I got a key, and I used, uh, I was in Chad, Chad, the drummer. I was in his room. And then he comes in the room and I'm in there with a girl and then he starts flipping out like what are you doing in my room and I'm like calm th-. like it's like calm down dude it's like no yeah, maybe you shouldn't have been in the guy's room and there's infinitely worse ones than that like that one is a very gentle one in the scheme of things Maybe I'm going to get into the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Maybe I got to give them a shot. Maybe I just got to go the other way on these things. If I think it stinks, I got to go all the way in and learn to love it. Right? Somebody send me, uh, what's the best Red Hot Chili Peppers album? Which one? Freaky Styly? Uplift Mofo Party Plan? Which one? Self Titled? Stadium Arcadium? Mother's Milk, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Mike said, yeah. You like that one? Is that a good one, Mike? It's the only one you ever bought. Californication. Scar Tissue with the one you saw. Mr. Bucket of Water, I gotta start getting into it. But that's the thing with this guy. I'll give him credit. He admits in the thing he had no talent. He wasn't a singer. Started singing with this group. Next thing you know, he's he's like... Hits a big time. Like big, big. Maybe that's a problem. I'm pulling my punches. I'm pulling my punches. We just gotta be bold. Maybe we just gotta be bold and just act like a like a like a, everything I'm entitled to, right? Rather than be the the king of free entertainment. You know what'll happen? I'll be a uh, hundred and ten years old, right? And then somebody will come and they'll pay me a penny, 
for something I did, and then I'll drop dead. <laughs> like, that That will be how the story goes. I would like to give you one penny for all the stuff you did. Thank you. <gasps> FMU, you're on the air. Hi, Tom. Hi, who's this? This is Maggie from Brooklyn. Maggie from Brooklyn. Yeah, what? I am... Um... I have the um, the passage from Scar Tissue oh. you're asking about. Oh, where a police helicopter, mm -hmm. when, when he sees Andy Gill uh, uh -huh. notes. Okay, uh, please, you know, bleep yourself. Just say S when it comes to that word, if you don't know. Okay, mind. sure. Um, so I'll just kind of give a little background. Um, he certainly didn't embrace our musical aesthetic or ideology. It was almost like it was beneath him. He had been there, done that, and that was fine. But let's move on, go somewhere else. And we were like, somewhere else? This is who we are. So there was a little tension. One day I got a glimpse of Gil's notebook, and next to the song Police Helicopter, he'd written S-word. Yeah, one, one, one word. One word next to it. Yeah, just one word. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it in all caps and underlined, because that's yes. how I would have written it. Yes. So what now? How does he make his defense of the song "Police Helicopter"? Okay, this is pretty great. Um, I was demolished that he had to miss that as what he as yeah. S word. Police helicopter was a jewel in our crown. It embodied the spirit of who we were, which was this kinetic, stabbing, angular, shocking assault force of sound and energy. <laughs> a kinetic. Um, yeah, kinetic, stabbing, a lot of, a lot of adjectives happen yeah. here. Kinetic, stabbing. Comma, stabbing. Angular, which is pretty much how you would describe Gang of Four, angular. Yes. Um, yes. Shocking, a shocking assault force of sound and energy. <laughs> An assault force of sound <laughs> and energy. Yep. Ooh. Well, thank you for that, Maggie. No problem. That's nuts. That's nuts. Police, that I got the land in the mouth. Police, that I got the takes and those die. Police, that I got the...